with, sticking with pastimes, mm -hmm. you know, letters used to be much more common between friends. Many people may even remember having a pen pal as a kid. Well, I did, and did you? No, I never did. Yeah, I did. I did. Well, two pen pals who connected as children haven't lost touch over the years. <laughs> Finally get to meet face to face for the first time, and that's today's buzz. Karen Smith and her pen pal Jennifer Canvas have exchanged letters for 35 years. The two connected through the Barbie pen pal program almost 40 years ago. Jennifer's mother still has every letter Karen sent. As their bond grew stronger, they started to exchange phone calls, texts, and gifts. And when the two finally met, the only gift that seemed fitting was, of course, a Barbie doll. But not just any Barbie doll, a pen pal Barbie. Jennifer created miniature replicas of the letters Karen sent to her and added them to the box. How cool is that? That is. So you did have a pen I pal. I did, and she lived in California. We met on a cruise ship her oh, families neat. and so we just started writing to each other and we stayed in touch and I even mm -hmm. had my fourth grade teacher she was living over in Portugal and we kept in touch writing well, to each other. Yeah. I know I know people don't write letters as much as they used right. to but just a handwritten note it just as a thank you or just I'm thinking anything like that goes such a long way if you send that to someone oh yeah if you receive a note it means so much oh, so it does. my mother is a stickler for that she loves to do that she mm -hmm. sends cards to everybody so good for she's her. got a lot of time to do that but <laughs> that's good <laughs> okay second story in the buzz today Orlando International has become the first US airport to commit to using facial recognition technology it involves using facial biometric cameras that can be put near places like departure gates the cameras verify a passenger's identity in less than two seconds. They say that they are 99% accurate. Mm -hmm. Officials say the system will be used to process the 5 million international travelers who go through the airport every year. Facial recognition is also being tested at 13 other U.S. airports. Okay, so how mm -hmm. do they first get your picture to match it? I guess maybe when you yeah, check in? I guess, and then you'd have to be entered into a database. Mm, that's kind of like Big Brother. I, I you know. <laughs> that's the thing. All the safety always comes at the cost of yeah, privacy, privacy, potentially. Sure. But when you're talking airports, yeah. international travel, you safety is number be. one. Exactly. So this, I mean, I think it sounds like an okay idea. I'd be yeah. perfectly fine with my own facial but recognition, But now suppose I think. it is you and you're that 1% person that gets pulled <laughs> you're to like, the side. No, I promise. It's really <laughs> me. Nah. All yeah. right. Well, and it's Take Your Dog to Work Day. Yay. Pet Sitters <laughs> International started the annual day in 1999 as a way to promote pet adoptions. And it continues to grow. A new study proves the power of a pet-friendly work environment. According to Wellness Natural Pet Foods, 37% of Americans would sacrifice benefits, including vacation time, for a dog-friendly workplace. 32% of pet owners feel they would be more productive at work with their pet right beside them. And 44% of employees would actually consider a career move to work for a pet-friendly <laughs> company, but only 9% of employers actually allow pets at work. That's up, though, from 4% in 2014. So you might want to ask your employer uh -huh. first before you do it. I don't know. I think I, I would know. play with my little dog. Yeah, I think it would distract me more. Yeah. It'd be nice to have them there. It'd be fun, but I think it would distract me have more. Have you seen on Facebook where they have, you know, the, the best antidote to a bad work day, and you see this little dog in there, oh, and you pull open the, the drawer. I have seen and that, the little, and there's a little puppy in there. I think it's a little golden, isn't it? Yeah, and it the, is. I have seen that. It's, it's so cute. cute. I know. Dogs will make you feel good no matter exactly. what. Exactly, and that's today's buzz. All right, we've got more traffic and weather coming your way next here on LEX 18 News at 4.